Well, it's a pick-me-up story that may lead you to your next cup of coffee. Today was the grand opening for Brody's Bee Cafe in Ada Village. News 8's Jacqueline Francis has more on the inspiring mission behind each cup of coffee served. Jacqueline. Marley and Brian, Brody's Bee Cafe is a great place to grab a cup of coffee or tea, and it's also a great place to work. The nonprofit coffee shop employs people with various special needs, with the hopes of inspiring and educating others along the way. Ready? Okay, here we go. Brody's Bee Cafe is open for business, a coffee shop of opportunities, hiring those with intellectual or developmental disabilities. A safe haven mom and founder Jennifer Cole has always dreamed of. Her son Brody was born with Down syndrome. Trying to create a place where Brody could work for life or some of his friends could work for life. Here at Brody's B, the best baristas are B ristas. B ristas, which are um, made up of individuals with um, different intellectual um, or physical disabilities. Reporting to work alongside peer coaches who offer training and support. Barista Ali likes the hustle and bustle behind the counter. Uh, making coffees and yeah, lattes here. So are you a barista? Yeah. Are you excited about that? Yeah. She's also excited about getting to meet new people. Thank you. Barista Alex likes to move about the place and is already eyeing a promotion. A good manager. You want to learn how to be a good manager? Yeah. The lessons to be learned extend to everyone that passes through these doors as Cole hopes to reshape the way people think about what it means to be different. People thinking maybe, you know, oh, is my coffee going to be the same? Is, um, is the service gonna, going to still be good? And it's breaking that barrier so that when they get their coffee or they come into our shop, that it is. It's just as wonderful as anybody else making coffee or serving them. Can I grab a vanilla or a caramel? Again, Brody's Bee Cafe is a nonprofit, which means there's plenty of ways you can get involved, from donations to volunteering your time. We've got all those details on our website, woodtv.com. Reporting in studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.